Hello everyone, my name is Khan Dujas, and welcome back to another video. So today, we are going to be going over what Bolt Action is, and how you can best get started in Bolt Action. So, first of all, we have to answer the question, what is Bolt Action? Um, so, it's a relatively new set of World War II Wargaming rules, written by Alessio Cavatore and Rick Priestley. Uh, it's currently on its second edition, which was released in 2016, if I am correct. And it's mainly meant for platoon-sized skirmish battles during the Second World War. So, its games can take place all the way from Normandy to Guadalcanal. Um, hell, it can even take place in North Wildwood, um, as long as you have the terrain and the um, minis for it. Um, the entry cost is cheap, relatively. Um, it's a lot less expensive than other games, such as Warhammer, for example. Um, instead of spending $60 on 10 guys, you can spend $60 on 60, which is amazing, and I like that. And the rules are very very simple to understand and i definitely definitely think beginners will like them because i started with bolt action back in 2019 and through reading the rules and watching battle reports for about two days i was able to learn the rules and understand them then i didn't even paint minis all the way from december to March, uh, I think I got like 10 done in December, and then it took me till March to get them all done. Uh, not even just to start up again, that's what I meant. Um, so, uh, then I got to play my first few games, and I was like, wow, this is really easy. Um, so, I really recommend it a lot. So, how exactly do I get into the game, or how exactly would you get into the game? So my recommendation is to purchase the Band of Brothers starter set with a friend or by yourself. Um, so you can split the starter set with you, with your friend. Um, it comes with 24 American paratroopers, 12 Germans, and then a half track for the Germans. With a light anti-tank gun and a rear-facing medium machine gun. And then it comes with dice, rulers play sheets, rule books, and terrain for you to play with. What I started with was the Blitzkrieg German Infantry box, the Band of Brothers box, and the Bands of 38T. Um, you will never see me bring those German infantry out onto the table ever because they're disgusting. Um, I murdered them. I should bury them in an unmarked grave so no one can see the abomination that is though that are those 45 miniatures for 42 42 miniatures um the tank i did all right with um so um you want to first so when actually getting into the army after you've bought the starter set and you've played a couple games with your friends you want to pick one so this is where the whole splitting the box comes with comes in. You want to either take Germans, you pay for half, you take the Germans and maybe the terrain. Your friend other your other friend pays half and takes the Americans. Um so then after you've done that, you want to pick an army. So for me, I chose Early War Blitzkrieg German Infantry. So for my birthday, this is back when I um had a significant lack in income so um yeah for my birthday i got a german starter army um it comes with 30 infantry not 30 it comes with more than 30 i think it's like 35 i think if i'm correct never i'll do that later um then it comes with a medium mortar a light anti-tank gun a half track and a appearance of 4d that's about a thousand points and it's decent for what you get um then you want to get an army book it'll come with all of your special rules every different type of unit you can use um the different 
options you have available to you for the said units and theater selectors. Um, but you have to buy a theater book for that one if you want the true theater selector. Um, yeah. Then you want to uh, buy minis, obviously. Um, I forgot to put them where they're supposed to be. I just listed them and didn't put them in order. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, so, I have a couple of recommendations for starting to get into the game. So, this is just pretty much an overview, plus a couple added things. Split the starter box with a friend, you take half, they take half. Then, buy the thousand point starter army with the book that you would like to play. Then, after you've looked at the armies, after you've looked through the book, played the game a bit, choose to, if you want to expand on your army or not. So. Warlord Games offers a bunch of expansions. They have starter set advan expansions that come with just like vehicles and stuff like that. And then, um, what's it called? And then you can buy 30 odd men in a 30 to $40 box. And they come with a bunch of different options for each. They're really good, really good value. Um, then you want to watch battle reports just to learn how the rules work a bit more. I really do recommend watching battle reports. I don't watch them like by themselves. I would recommend while you're doing something else, watch a battle report because they can get a bit you know, stagnant at times. Um, there are some battle report channels that I do recommend, though. Tabletop CP, Geeks Wargaming, Kitchen Wargames, and Valhalla Games. Links to their channels will be in the description, so please go ahead, check them out, give them a like, and subscribe. Maybe you can comment if you want. Then, while I'm doing the description, I know I'm going to come up with a couple more, so I'll leave their links in the description as well, along with my Instagram link, so you can go and follow me there. Um, so please, like the video if you enjoyed dislike it if you dislike it go ahead um please subscribe share comment go check out these channels and thank you for watching i will see you guys next time